Okay, so today or yesterday, whatever it was, it was a uh, six July. Okay, we went to me and my friends went to watch the witch two, the other one. Uh, it's a Korean. Okay, let me search the witch two, other one. So is this Korean? thriller mystery that is 6.7 out of 10 on IMDb 73% on Rotten Tomatoes and 8 out of 10 on my drama list wow right uh, it came out apparently 4 years after the first one which was in back in 2018 so I had no idea what was this movie about uh, my friend asked me if I wanted to watch it, so I had to watch the first one, right? So the first one, I just uh, watched it in fast forward because I didn't have time. I was having lessons and then the movie was at 6. So I didn't really have enough time to watch the movie if I uh, watched it in its entirety. So I like fast forward. Okay, I don't skip videos. I will just watch it in fast forward like speed up okay the front was kind of boring okay so this is spoilers spoilers ah uh. so front was kind of boring for the first one so maybe until like halfway and then there's like some action and then got better and then it kind of ended in a way where if you tell me it's just a one off movie it's fine the girl leaves that's it so they made a second one. And the way that they made the second one is kind of like John Wick. So where there is chapter one and then there's chapter two. And I have no idea if they're expecting a chapter three. Uh, apparently the ratings are pretty good, but I did not like the film. Um, first of all, uh, it was so confusing. If you watched it without context, right? Even after watching it with context, I had no idea what was going on. The first few minutes, I was just, what is going on? Question marks in my head. Who are these new characters? They don't introduce the new characters. The names aren't really mentioned. Uh, not gonna lie, Asian people look quite similar. So, I don't really know who they are. Uh, there's no action. It's flat. A lot of confusing, confusing conversations. And then we go to the second part where it was just question marks, question marks, and then it just fell off the cliff like straight away because uh, there was a very thick Korean accented Chinese where as a Chinese myself, I did not understand jack shit. I had to look at the subtitles and try to make out what they're trying to say. And not gonna lie, like half the time, right? It's just me questioning myself whether it is Korean or it is Chinese. Okay, I mean, the, the way that they are actually trying to pronounce Chinese is not wrong. It's actually quite accurate. But the accent for the Chinese means that because of, because Chinese, like the Mandarin language has four pronunciations for each. You know the Han Yu Pinyin? So it's like uh, one, two, three, four. And then with the Korean accent, it's like, it's like flat. You don't really um hear uh yeah. I don't really know how to explain it, but as a Chinese if you watch the video, you would think it's weird. You just don't know what's going on. Um out of the four they actually tried to speak Chinese. So they were a Shanghai group, so they actually trying to speak Chinese. It wasn't a Shanghai accent, it was a Cor it was the Korean accent. Yeah. Uh Shanghai's Chinese is actually quite accurate like really pristine i like it it's actually not bad yeah um i don't know whether the short head girl has a good command of the chinese language or it's just that her lines are shorter so the, the korean accent doesn't come off as too thick and then um yeah the first half was flat and it fell off the cliff then it sort of went up because it's like Stranger Things, I haven't actually watched 
Stranger Things, but it just gives off the Stranger Things vibes. I will go about watching Stranger Things, but not so soon because I still have my lessons. So there was like supernatural stuff. Um, people are jumping off air. I don't think they're flying. They're just like jumping off air. Like, you know, you can double jump and then they can triple jump everywhere. Uh, they have superhuman abilities. There's two breeds. So maybe it's like the humans at this level. Then there's a second tier where they can recover quite fast. And then there's a third tier where they have like psychotelekinesis power, you know? And then, uh, yeah. So, like, the third third quarter of the film, right, it's where the action is at, where they, like, jump around, shoot people, a lot of gore, a lot of action. CGI wasn't that great, but I actually kind of enjoyed the, the, the action sequence, fighting sequence, you know? Because, well, um, it's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, um... This is the one, uh, the witch, uh, the other one, this is part two, um, and yeah, then after that, uh, it sort of fell flat again, and I don't really know what's going on. In one of the fighting scenes, right, because the subtitles is in English and Chinese, the Korean guy said ni, uh, and the subtitle for English is you fuck. Um, I, I think it, it meant it's like you are, you are a mother F, but, um, ni means you in Chinese, ni, ni, I, I don't know man, uh, what's a proper pronunciation for it, I'm pretty sure I'm correct, but I know what it means, ni means you, <laughs> war means me. <laughs> I was, I'm not gonna go into the Jackie Chan, uh, Chris Rock, um, ho, ni, ni, you, whatever, and, yeah, that's that, uh, for more spoilers, uh, there, it ended on a cliffhanger, so it seems like they're gonna try and make a third, third film, um, let me check right now if it's gonna, it's just Google, Wikipedia, you know, hmm, is a third one slated for release, promotion, reception, reception box office. Took eighteen days to cross two point five million viewers. Uh, critical response. Wow, well, the praise did. Oh right. Um. Yeah, I hated it. It sucks. I don't recommend it. Uh, for me, it's either a three or four out of ten. Not the worst film I've watched, but definitely below average, you know? Right, take care guys.